Anubis Doggy Kruger is an extraterrestrial that has the physical characteristics of both a human and a dog. He is the commander of SPD's Earth Branch and eventual Supreme Commander of SPD. He is one of the most loved characters in the Power Rangers universe and one of my personal favourites. So let's cover his full story. Anubis was born on the planet Sirius. He fell in love with a woman named Asinia, and both of them were members of the very first Space Patrol Delta on their home planet. They eventually got married, but their relationship was soon challenged by Kruger's rival, Ichthyor. Ichthyor was a good fighter, but a dirty one. Because of his lack of honour, he had no chance of winning over the wife of Kruger. Years before this, Emperor Groom attacked the planet of Sirius with his armies. Anubis, along with his fellow Syrians, joined together to form a fighting force to take on the invading evil. They formed the first Space Patrol Delta. However, after fighting bravely, they were defeated, Sirius was destroyed, and Isinia was also lost. The attack on Anubis and his squad had been led by General Benag, and believing Kruger to be dead, he left the planet. Kruger woke to find his planet barren and all other Syrians destroyed. He made the decision then to come to Earth and command a branch of SPD there. He also acted as the mentor of the A-Squad Power Rangers. He then chose the SPD B-Squad Rangers, Jack Landers as the Red Ranger, Skylar Tate as the Blue Ranger, Bridge Carson as the Green Ranger, Z Dogaldo as the Yellow Ranger and Sidney Drew as the Pink Ranger, to take the place of the A-Squad who had become missing in action. Kruger advised the B-Squad in their year-long battle with Groom and his Trubian forces. When General Benag showed up on Earth, it brought back horrible memories and tough emotions for Commander Kruger. At first, he did not want to face them. But with the help of the B-Squad Rangers and Cat Manx, Commander Kruger took on his past and General Benag. Cat had made Doggy a new compact device, the SPD Patrol Morpher, allowing him to morph into the SPD Shadow Ranger. A little while later, Anubis is dreading the arrival of Commander Fowler Birdie. The commander is visiting Earth's SPD branch and inspecting its performance. He is not impressed with the rangers and picks faults in everything that they do. He demands that Kruger split the team up. Kruger feels that this would be far too dangerous and refuses. In response, Birdie relieves him of his duty. The cadets are later assembled by Kruger and he gives a farewell speech, then leaves. After Birdie sends Jack, Sky, and Bridge to investigate an energy source, it turns out to be Emperor Groom. The villain defeats the three rangers and tells them that he's now ready to face Commander Kruger. Supreme Commander Birdie then comes to the conclusion that if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself, so he goes out alone to face Groom. But Birdie is soon defeated, and the Emperor is not happy with not facing Kruger. Jack later finds Anubis and tells him about Groom's message, saying that he's waiting for him. Kruger returns to the command center and finds Cat monitoring Supreme Commander Birdie's battle, with Doggy then thinking that Birdie is a fool and later reluctantly following Cat as she says she has something for him. Kruger then goes to rescue Birdie and soon the Shadow Ranger and Groom battle. Doggy manages to defeat the Emperor with him saying that he has won this round before vanishing. Kruger then joins the rest of the Rangers and Supreme Commander Birdie decides to reinstate him saying that he will no longer interfere and that Earth is counting on him. Soon after this, when enemy Broodwing uses the Dino Gems to bring back the Dino Rangers to the future where they meet the SPD Rangers, Kruger insists that the Dino Rangers remain in the Delta base to avoid problems with the timeline because if anything happens to them, their future may no longer exist. Kruger then joins his team as the Shadow Ranger, but when Emperor Groom launches his biggest attack yet, Connor, Kira and Ethan have to assist the SPD Rangers. All ten rangers come together to celebrate their victory over the Emperor. The Dino Rangers want to stay and help out, but the SPD Rangers convince them that they will go on to lead exciting and significant lives of their own. After that, the Dino Rangers have their memories wiped in order to prevent them from knowing too much about their own futures and are sent back to their time. But, after learning that Emperor Groom had travelled through a wormhole to conquer Earth 21 years earlier without any interference, Kruger sends Jack, Bridge and Z on a mission to follow Groom through the wormhole. Realising that the wormhole is closing, Doggy prepares to go after his three cadets and warn them, with Sky and Sid tagging along so they have a better chance of stopping Groom's forces. 
While in the past the three SPD Rangers along with the Dino Rangers fight against the combined armies of Zeltrax and Groom. Kruger and the rest of the team join in on the fight, with Doggy meeting Tommy Oliver for the first time and teaming up with him in order to defeat Zeltrax just before he retreats. As the Dino Rangers assemble the Z-Rex Blaster, Kruger and his teammates assemble the K-9 Cannon to finish off the remaining foot soldiers. Before the SPD Rangers return to the future, Doggy erases theirs and the Dino Rangers memories. As the Shadow Ranger, Kruger helped his Rangers in battle, but he was still haunted by what had transpired on his home planet Sirius. In a second battle with previous rival Ichthyor, the monster had told Kruger that Isinia, his wife, was still alive. Kruger did not at first believe the word of this criminal. However, after Kruger was captured by the A Squad and turned over to Emperor Grum, he was shown that Isinia was indeed alive. She had been captured by Grum during the battle on Sirius. Soon B Squad were also captured and joined with Kruger, but they all managed to escape. Kruger fights the Emperor and defeats him as he seemingly falls to his death. Finally, now Kruger is reunited with his long lost wife. However, before they get too happy, to stop the current threat, a panel had to be opened on the Magnificence, which is essentially the main hidden villain of the SPD series. Kruger realises that whoever does this will likely die, but even knowing this, Kruger made the decision to possibly sacrifice himself to stop the threat. He opens up the panel, allowing the SWAT Megazord to fire a blast through it that destroyed the Magnificence. Both Commander Kruger and Isinia were thought to have been lost, but they emerged out of the rubble and were not harmed. But before the celebration could begin, Emperor Groom too came out of the wreckage. Even though the Rangers offered their help, Kruger decided to face him alone, unmorphed. Kruger easily defeats the Emperor, who ordered him to finish him off. But instead, he cuts off the top of the Emperor's horn and after mocking him, contains him and celebrates the victory with everyone else. Justice is served! Yeah! A while later, Kruger was then made Supreme Commander of SPD after Fowler Birdie retired, making Sky Tate the new commander. Anubis Kruger is a tough and stubborn leader, yet fair and kind-hearted, but more than anything, he is loyal, noble and honourable. He is definitely my favourite character from SPD and one of my favourite characters in all of Power Rangers. What do you guys think about Anubis Doggy Kruger? Are you a fan? If you weren't, I hope this video has made you like him a little more. Don't forget to leave a comment down below guys letting me know which character you would like to see covered next. Thank you all so much for watching, may the power protect you and I will see you next time on the 6th Ranger.